Hello everyone, I'm Ben Hertz, the coordinator of the European Schoolnet Academy and one of the course instructors. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Padlet so that you can use it for your learning diary. Given that we are using Padlet as a communication tool across much of the course, let me actually start out with a quick word on how to just add comments, resources, etc. on a Padlet that's already there before going into how to create a Padlet. It's actually very straightforward. When you see a Padlet underneath a video, just double click anywhere to add a comment. Then to add a link, video or file to your comment, you click on one of these icons. That's pretty much it. So let's move on to the slightly more complex task of creating your own Padlet for your learning diary. The first thing you need to do is to create an account on Padlet. So go to padlet.com and click on the sign up button. That should be very straightforward, so I'll skip the next steps here and show you what to do once you have created an account and logged into your Padlet account. The first thing you'll see is your dashboard. There's quite a few nice things for you to explore here, but we just want to focus on creating a Padlet today. So click on New Padlet in the top left here, and voila, you can already start posting things on your Padlet just by double clicking anywhere on the canvas. However, let's customize the palette to make it easier and clearer to use. First thing you want to do is click on the small cogwheel here to modify the palette. You can then enter a title for the palette. Please make sure that your title clearly includes your name and the word learning diary so that everybody else can clearly identify this as your learning diary for the course. So I'll call mine Ben's learning diary for the creative use of tablets in schools course. And in the description box, I'll write this. This is where I collect all my answers to module questions as well as relevant resources from the EU and Academy course, Creative Use of Tablets in Schools. If you'd like to get in touch, you can write me at benjamin.hertz at eun.org. Now I'll add a photo of me, which I have saved on my desktop. Voila. Those would be the most important settings, but let me show you a few other things you can change. For example, you can change the wallpaper of your Padlet. There's a range of choices, although I quite like this paper background, so I'll leave it as it is. The next bit is more important. Here you can change the layout of your Padlet. The default setting is freeform. This allows you to post something on your Padlet anywhere you like with no specific organization. Let me show you. I can click anywhere I like and the posts show up there. And I can move the posts around as I wish. Now that's quite nice, but with a lot of posts can become quite confusing or at least a lot of work to keep it organized. So for the purposes of the learning diary, one of the other options is probably better. The stream option shows posts underneath each other in a nice chronological order. And the grid option, well, shows things as on a grid. This allows for more effective use of the space. The final thing you should know is how to share your Padlet. Just click on address here and you will see a shareable link which you can copy and paste. You can also embed your Padlet or export it in a variety of ways by clicking here. Well, and that's all you'll need to know to get started. Remember to start out your learning diary with a post about yourself and your teaching context. Enjoy preparing your learning diary and I'll see you on the course.